Hi everyone, um, today I'm going to show you how to make a fringe cut using your Silhouette software if you have a Cricut. Um, I have a Silhouette Cameo myself and I have a file that I use to cut the fringe for my flower centers and I share this with any Silhouette user that buys my templates. But for those who have a Cricut, which is the majority of those who purchase my templates, I haven't been able to figure out anything that would be similar until now. And the way that I found this out is actually through two other people. I'm going to credit them because um, this is where I learned this from and I believe credit should be given where it's due. And so um, I'm going to link two people who shared this with me. Their Instagrams are Graceful Custom Crafts and Patricia Paper Flowers. Please go share it. Uh, please be sure to go check out their Instagram or the link that I'm going to leave below if you learned something from this tutorial because it is a lifesaver, especially if you have a Cricut. This means no more scissors and cutting the fringe. So what you should do is open up Cricut Design Space. I believe this is the new version. I'm not as familiar with the Cricut software and so I'm going to try to do this without goofing up. But in images you should click on images on the left and you should search for line and the first thing that pops up is a line image that you can select I think select and then insert into images I mean, insert images into your uh, mat so you have this line that is a score line. You'll need to change it to cut line. And that turns it into a nice uh, straight line. And for the example, I will um, first resize this line to four inches. And I'm going to make a four by six um, rectangle. So I'm going to duplicate that line and drag it out to six inches wide. If I can get it, so six inches wide. And I'm gonna duplicate that line and I'm gonna essentially make a rectangle because when I cut out this fringe piece, I want it to be a rectangular piece. So there is my rectangle. And what I'd like to do is, um, this grid here is a quarter inch grid. And so I'm gonna duplicate, duplicate this four inch line and I'm gonna resize the line length to three and a half. So that there's a quarter inch on top of the top and bottom. And I wanna place it in the middle along that first grid line within that rectangle. So that'll be my first cut. And then I just simply want to duplicate this line again and then just add them all along within the rectangle here. So I'm just going to select both and then duplicate that. And then select all four and duplicate. This is probably the easiest way to do it. As you're going, just keep duplicating the number that you have already the number of the cut lines that you've already made. And one more time, I think. All right, so these lines in the middle essentially will be the cut lines. And so your Cricut blade will cut this rectangle and it will cut those lines in the middle. And this will be your fringe cut. And this is the basic idea. You can switch it to whatever size you like, whether you want a full strip, an eight and a half by, by 11 strip, whether you want the lines longer or shorter. Here, again, it's a quarter inch grid. You can also make it thinner by doing an, a, an eighth of an inch. So putting lines in between those squares and just doing that for the entire rectangle. I'm going to X that out. And in the end, you can select all of them, all the lines that you have made, click attach, 
And then it, I don't have a Cricut myself, and so I actually won't be cutting this, but if you send it to cut um, by clicking on make it, should take you to the mat and if you see move it around you can see that it's all the, the all those cut lines are there and I'll essentially cut that fringe piece for you you can just take it off the mat and then glue and then make whatever center that you want one tip that I would have for you is if you have certain styles that you like save them um, with that detail so that you know that that's a particular size and look for the flower centers. So, I mean the fringe cut, excuse me. So for here I did, I could say flower center. Um, I did it in a quarter inch cut and it's a four by six inch rectangle. Right, so I could save that. And you can imagine that you can make a number of different types and then save them so that when you're ready to get, make that center, you can just pull it up and then cut it out rather than having to do this each time. So you can be detailed in your labeling. And um, that should be all that there is to it. I really wish I could cut this out myself to show you what it looks like. Um, but you'll just have to play around with this. This is a complete time saver. I get a lot of questions about whether I cut my petals with my Silhouette Cameo. And the answer is yes, I do, but for the most part, I cut my center pieces and complicated pe uh, petal designs with my silhouette. And I use scissors to cut out um, more basic petals. And uh, one good thing to have a machine, a cutting machine for, is these flower centers because um, they are tedious to do and they can really hurt after doing a large number of them. So I hope that tutor this tutorial helped. Um, please let me know if you have any questions and be sure to check out the two people I will link below who are responsible for sharing this knowledge. Thank you so much. Bye.